uh, chicken smacks butts. All right. Hey, hey, no hitting. Hey. I think that chicken needs a, a plucking. I'm gonna pluck you, chicken. I'm gonna pluck you. Okay. Welcome back to part four of our chicken coop build. Woohoo! Sigmund was really cool and sent us their tape measure, which we're gonna be using today. Um, it has a laser measuring tape built into it, as well as a normal tape measure, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff that I probably won't use, but it's still pretty cool to have. So we'll let you know at the end of the video how this tape worked for us and if it helped us uh, build our chicken coop. But for today, um, our main goal is to finish this outside. Put our two windows in, put the, the rest of the sheathing on, and that way we can paint uh, probably tomorrow or the rest of the week um, and have this coop pretty much up and done or up and ready and I guess in the next week ready for, uh, for birds. Yeah, it's exciting. In the two and a half week break that we've taken, um, carpenter bees have made a nest here. We had some yeah. wasps. So if you see us running around grabbing them, it's because they took over. So uh, we need to claim back our, <laughs> our coop, coop or get chickens so they can just eat them right away. One or the yeah. other. All right, are we ready? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. So these are the windows that we got for like, what, 10 bucks a pop. And we did break one of the panels and then we broke another panel. And then our three-year-old stepped on them and broke more. So we're just gonna put them up without any glass. And uh, I think I'll just put some chicken wire on it for now. Um, and we'll just get like a piece of plexiglass and put it in, but it's the summertime. I mean, there's, we need, we need some airflow anyways. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's put these in and go from there. Okay. So we need to put another stud in the bottom here. Okay. So let's get one. Actually, you know, I want to try, I'll try the laser thing. I guess I put it here. Oh, I see the laser on the other side. Okay, so this says it's two feet and two inches and seven eighths. So wow. almost two feet and three inches. So let's see old school method. They, they said it's 26 inches and seven eighths. Yeah, okay, I can oh, see that. Yeah, no, it's, it, not, it's not quite 27 over yeah, there. Yeah, it's there. I think I can change this because that's kind of confusing. I don't want it to say like two feet, two inches. I just want inches. Um, Did you read the instructions before you opened it? What do you think? <laughs> Got meters, 26.9 inches. Nice. Okay. Precise. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Neato burrito. That is neat a burrito. What do you think it is tall? This is 38 inches. This is 38, okay. One, two. 37.9. Nice. And I said 38, right? Mm. It's more precise than you are. Yeah, it is. Because oh boy. I probably wanted this to be 38 inches. This is gonna take your OCD for a spin. We're never gonna get this chicken coop done. <laughs> Thanks, Sigmund. This is pretty cool. All right. So what were we doing? Okay. Oh yeah. So we were 26.9, right? Mm-hmm. Right? So that means you me your measurements were off when we first did Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I know. Hey, Bree. Mommy, I can't touch you. Whoa. Oh, don't touch me with your muddy hands. Mommy. What are you doing? You make... I'm making pottery. Nice. Making pottery? Somebody said 26.9. Solid. I like it. Okay.
that's it for today. Tomorrow, we'll put the hinges on, we'll do the back one, and we'll maybe secure the windows a little bit more. Um, maybe start painting a little bit. Sure. And then we just have to figure out what we're gonna do in the soffiting and for the, the molding. And that's about it. So, until tomorrow. All right, what are we doing? Uh, all right, so next up, let's just put the hinges on. Um, what are these called? Doors. The egg doors. Yeah, to okay. our nesting boxes. Nesting box doors. So, and then we'll, uh, then we'll start working on the trim pieces and get this thing painted. Yeah. Really, we're, we're almost there. Softening we have to do. Um, it gutters. Just, gutters. To get gutters really quick and easy. But yeah, let's get working on this. Okay. And uh, we'll go from there. Sounds good. So we have these utility hinges, which we're going to use to open and shut these to open and shut. We have these hinges which are gonna allow these doors to open and shut. Chicken, be a chicken.
So we've been working on the chicken coop a little bit throughout the week, just trying to speed up and catch up and get some more progress done. But unfortunately, we are out of paint. Um, I don't know why I thought one gallon would be enough, but this is probably gonna be closer to a two or three gallon uh, project by the time it's all done and at least put a you know full coat on there down a second. So until next time, uh, we'll keep working throughout the week and hopefully get another video out uh, after next weekend uh, where it's all finished. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing and stay tuned to Chicken Coop Part 5. Bye. I must have a death wish. That's what I thought, Wasp.